I went to do a little bit of research to see what I could find out about this Jason Dockery, who was the fugitive, who was uh, on the run in Lee County, Virginia. He was captured on Friday, I believe it was. What I was able to find out was very little. There may be some newer updated stories um, in the days to come, but mostly when I went looking, all I could find really was just how they captured him and everything, but here's the original story, and it doesn't have a whole lot of detail either, but it just says, a woman killed Tuesday in the high-scale community of Anderson County, Tennessee, has been identified, and law enforcement in Lee County, Virginia, are saying that the suspect is no longer believed to be in that community. Now, this was before he was captured. Um, the woman's name, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Shasti, S-H-Y-S-T-I-E, Shasti Renee Mayberry. At about 1.30 p.m. Tuesday, the sheriff's office in Anderson County and 911 received a call from someone who said a man had shot a woman while stopped on the side of the road in the 200 block of Moore's Gap in the high scale community. If I'm saying that wrong, please help me out here because I don't I'm not sure where this is. It's in Tennessee. Deputies found the woman when they arrived. Um, police began searching for forty four year old Jason Robert Dockery. Dockery's red four door two thousand fifteen Chevy Sonic was seen in Claiborne County, Tennessee and he was pursued by the police there into Lee County, where he abandoned the car in the Ewing community and escaped into the woods. The search for Dockery continued into Wednesday with officials closing the public schools and the sheriff advising everyone to stay inside and that the man was considered to be armed and extremely dangerous. 6.30 p.m. Wednesday, the sheriff gave the following update. We have confirmed that the suspect has left Lee County, but because of the sensitivity of the ongoing investigation, no further information can be released. Now, I don't know how they knew he had left. Maybe he had contacted someone to come pick him up, and maybe they turned him in. I don't know the details yet. But here's the detail that was never mentioned in any of the stories about in the days when he was being searched for. Okay, now here is part of the story that wasn't mentioned, and I found this as I was doing some reading. Dockery reportedly had a child in his car with him. According to the Anderson County Sheriff's Office, police are still investigating if the child was in the car at the time of the shooting. Well, of course the child was in the car. What I read was is that the child was the two-year-old child of this woman. Now, I don't know if Jason Dockery was the child's father. I don't know what the relationship was between the two of them. They don't go into any detail about that. But apparently the child was in a car seat, in the back seat, and she was in the passenger seat, and she was trying to get out of his car and was shot. Now, I don't know the, the facts of that, so there may not have been any witnesses. It could have just been that um, this is what police were able to put together. I don't know the details. We do believe that Dockery somehow got possession of a child and stopped and put the child out of the car before the pursuit he confirmed that the child was found safe. Now, he was also charged with child endangerment, wanton endangerment of a child, reckless driving, fleeing, felony evading, reckless endangerment, abuse, neglect, and endangerment, and multiple traffic offenses. He was also wanted for violation of probation in Sevier County, Tennessee. 
When I type her name in, what comes up is stuff about him. Very little about her. And I would have thought that maybe after three or four days have passed that there would have been a few more details. People that knew her would come forward and say what her relationship was to him. If they were in a relationship, if, they, if he was the child's father. Ewing, Virginia, where, where they were searching for him at, is in the Appalachian Mountains near Virginia's Wilderness Road, known as, as well as Cumberland Gap National Park. Um, I knew this was in what is known as the the tri-point or the triangle. It's where Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia all merge together. It's in the Middlesboro area of Kentucky that borders Lee County, Virginia. The sheriff's office said someone called 911 to report that a man had shot a woman while he was stopped on the side of the road. The woman was later identified. Police began their pursuit. Let's see what they have. They have a little bit of details. This was dated Friday the 15th. Jason Robert Dockery reportedly shot Shasti Mayberry six times while she tried to flee from the passenger side of his car. In the back seat of the car, was a 21-month-old daughter of Shasti Mayberry. According to the warrant, Dockery fled the scene, taking the child with him and leaving the woman's body lying on Moores Gap Road, where he had parked near the East Wolf Valley intersection. It says Dockery dropped Mayberry's daughter off in Claiborne County, according to the police. He said the child was turned over to Children's Services and will be reunited with her relatives. And Dockery is being held in the Anderson County Jail on a $2 million bond. Um, he has been assigned a public defender. The murder warrant states that the 9mm semi-automatic pistol believed to have been used in the killing, was in Dockery's possession when he was caught by Union County Sheriff's deputies and that he confessed to what had happened. I don't know. I couldn't find anything more about the two of them together, about their relationship, anything to do with that, and if he's the child's father or not. It doesn't say. I'm going to look her up on Facebook. Someone had made a post, My dear sweet niece, you are gone from our sight, but you will never be forgotten. We will always remember you in our hearts, in our memories. And there's a photograph of her here and her obituary. One thing that they left out when they were talking about this man was the numerous amount of tattoos that he has. He would have been spotted easily. I believe in the photograph of him being arrested, you can see them on his arms. So they would have told the public about that. I'm sure people would have recognized him right away. I don't know the details. Maybe in time more will come out. I will continue to follow some of the stories about him on Facebook and see if I can find anything newer as time goes on. But I just wanted to come back and do, uh, do this little follow-up on that story because in the original story where he was on the run, they didn't, they didn't say who he had shot. I didn't know anything about the child being in the car and that he had left the child. It doesn't say if he just took the child out of the the car seat or took the entire car seat out and just left them beside the road or if he dropped the child off at someone's home, a restaurant, a, a Walmart, it doesn't say. It just says that he left the child. So at least he didn't have the child in the car with him while the police were chasing him. 
There's really not a whole lot else about her. There's a couple of links on here about her, but really, when you go to them, there's not much more detail. This is a mystery right now, and I'm going to continue to look into it, and if I'm able to find more later on, I will do another update. Thanks for watching.